another abandoned farmstead, another field of resting relics. Good thing it wasn't raining, this would have been all mud out here. Inhabited. A little bit, not in fact totally level full like some of them are. Ooh, solid mechanical fan, and she's a rocker. Oh boy. Yellow Hornet, I think. <laughs> Oh man, was this like an old railroad truck? That orange and white. Yeah, it's got to be like a fleet, fleet two-tone. Been worked pretty hard. Typical old farm truck. Dealer badge just about faded out. F100 was last used in 75. Tell me if I'm right in the comments. 40. 8950 Dodge. It's got the five window cab. Circle by a little later and look at it. 41 to 6. Chevrolet. With the blue that patinas down to green. Fuel tank on the wood stand. Another one on the wood stand. Kind of cool old resting relics. Looks like a massy tractor hiding in the woods. This old tractor. Probably a runner. One brand new, brand new tire. And the Chevy. Oh yeah. Sadly, this thing's kind of been a little bit worked to death as well. That's a three-quarter ton truck. Kind of a rusty old dog. There's a barn full of mystery treasures over there. All the debris and detritus pick through. Got a old H or an M with a big bale lift apparatus. 
Massey Combine. They would have gone through all these sheds and picked out the items that they're selling on the tables. Just a very basic agrarian existence. Relics of time that's no longer with us. Very old combine, pull type. Would assume that to be an Alice. Things out here just laid where they fell. Massey Ferguson 1200. We'll probably never harvest another field. Don't imagine there's too much restoration action for something of that sort. through scrap batteries mix of trash and treasure my dad taught me early on always always look in every building Most of the time they'll kind of pick through these before the sale for what they put out on the wagons, but always got to check because they may not be looking at the things of value that I see. Sheds totally falling in. A few fencers, plastic coat crate, antique batteries. Some of these are kind of cool because they got old advertising on the sides. There's a uh, sure the pronunciation Malote. Cream separator. Old relic. Centrifugal. Spin and milk and cream. More old relics. John Deere. These would be A's, presumably. Sat for long enough that they're probably just parts tractors at this point. This thing's pretty used up. Must have had calcium in that wheel. It's totally gone. They got every mile out of that tire. 
no no grip left in it at all at this point a little bit of scrap and miscellaneous duotherm little furnace it's kind of got a interesting Art Deco look to it. I always thought it'd be neat to build kind of a 50s looking junk bot. That'd make a good, good junk bot body. Farm all. Zoom an F20. I worked on restoring one of those at McPherson College. It was a fun project. I let the other guys do the mechanical and I did the cosmetics. Antique washer. Speed Queen, maybe. Another smaller John Deere tractor. And out in the far section, we've got a sixty for Plymouth. Belvedere, low spec, totally naked of any side trim. Looks like it's a three on the tree car. Pretty rusty old dog. Inaccessible. Things rusted so bad it looks like the control arms Sitting up, it's probably had the torsion bars punched through. There's some decent parts there. Clutch pedals for sure, somebody would want. We've got the 49. Chevrolet Deluxe, super nice grill in that one. Show the firewall tag there. It's got the rear window shade. Super nice grill in that car too. Things actually really straight. One tree there in the middle. Manual transmission. Uh, for an old farm car, that grill has survived perfect, really, that whole car. One little scrape across the door, but aside from that, she's really straight. Oh, dash is untouched. 
upholstery. Pretty typical one of these. They're all going to be shredded. Parked in 62. Trunk latch in up. It's a good old car. And we got the Massey 26. Radiator hanging right out on the side. What an odd, odd configuration. Believe these were Chrysler flat sixes. Out here, got a plow that's been totally, totally consumed by this elm tree. It's just overtaken it. Pretty amazing. Mother Nature. Up to her old shenanigans. Another massy header. This is the area they kind of had cattle in that kept it eaten down somewhat. There's the massy. Went to the header. Price of salvage is down, so it's hard to hard to say what the scrap guys will do out here. Here's kind of a cool old 41 through 6 Chevrolet that's been pretty treed. Thing's got a 15 inch artillery wheel. The tree is like right in there. Person would probably have to take that out with equipment. Cut the tree into pieces and lift it off with a bucket. lift the back of the truck up over what remains of the stump. That thing has been used hard and put up wet. There's probably a parts buggy at this point. On the rough side. Then we've got the International. Pretty Rusty old lump it is. Parts truck realistically. Know that there's a whole lot of people beating down the doors for rusty long bed with crooked passenger door. Bed's totally shot. Cab completely gone. It's completely gone. I always thought these had a kind of unique gauge setup that kind of looked like a custom competition. 
arrangement. A little bit out of place for a old farm truck. No tailgate, not just a whole lot to really write home about on that one. A few other implements. There's a disc. Got the dump rake out back. Another big harrow that's been overtaken by a tree. I think that's a harrow. Old harvester of some kind. Alice Chalmers. Old plow. More old plows. Whatever they took out of the ground in this place, they definitely earned it the hard way. That's for sure. Old baler. That'd be good for parts. Another abandoned farmstead. Another field of resting relics. Parts and pieces. This is a Oliver grain drill. Got an interesting Design and flared it. Several other planters. Parts or salvage or restoration if somebody's ambitious. A little bit of cacti. Not super common in Kansas, but out kneeling around loading one of these kind of got to be aware of it this old water heater it is me there's the hood for the chev So that makes it pretty complete minus drive train. Go find a 235 and pop it in there and hit the party. It's just that simple. Ha ha. few other relics in the trees. Another old pull type harvesting apparatus. Alice Chalmers, of course. Another, I believe that's a corn picker. The old Washer machine. Not super old compared to a lot of what else is here. There's an old Model T buzz saw. She wears a Ford. Then she became a buzzsaw. That's actually two Model T's. Butchered and remade.
Fascinating. These old timers were pretty resourceful individuals. Another planner. Apologize if I didn't catch every last thing out here. That's a sickle mower. McCormick, Chicago. New Big Four. Did have one more quick row over here. Got another little disc. And this thing's been just completely overtaken by the elm tree. Not letting go. Not letting go. Kind of fascinating to <laughs> see the outcome after decades of time. This will probably be planner with the extra wheels. Not sure the brand on that one. Harrow, another dump break, another plow. Here's kind of a unique looking disc. Super heavy for a disc. I don't think I've ever seen one like that in all my travels. That is an odd ball. Moline on the wheel. Pretty wild stuff. It's the old Ford track. This one's going to be 65 or 6. Painted style dash in it. Another one that's been used hard and put up wet. By golly, they kept her going. Got the animal livestock grates on the back. You can take your cow to the vet or to town to sell. 60 seven to 72 bed on it. And pretty well worked to death. Looks like an old farm truck. Actually has fresh fuel in it. Got one brand new, brand new tire on the front. That old thing surely still be a runner, you'd imagine. New starter, starter relay. Rough old truck. It's a 2014 Fusion. It's hard to say, it's had back rats under the hood, and inside is just really, really rough. It'd take a major detail to get this back presentable again. So here's the old Dodge. Pretty decent truck overall. 
had a cheap respray over it. Originally yellow, so likely would have been a highway truck or a fleet truck. Got the little clutch pedal adapter. Household carpet seat cover. Stock racks. Oh yeah. My dad's friend bought that plow. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing what's still around in this area of the country. Thousand, 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 thousand
74 or 5, 74 or 5, 73 somewhere in there. Now 200, 200 dollars, 
200 dollars here, everybody got 200. 190, 200 dollars here, everybody got about 200. Here, everybody got about 190, 200. 200 dollars here, 90. Now 20, 220, 30, 230, 40, 250. Now 75, 260, 250, 60, 115, 60, 260 here, right about 250, 260 here, right about 260, 250, 12. 12. While we're here, we got another one. Five, five, 78 to 80 per Give 150. 150, 50, 50, 75, 100, 100, now 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 30 here, right about 30. 30 down over there, 30 here, right about 40 lines, 30 here, 40 lines, 30. So, 25, 30, 30, 5, 5. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 
The 103. Alright, we've got this another A, isn't it? A? A. 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 On another A right here. <laughs> Buy this John Deere A right here. 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 100, quarter, 125. Put a hundred, one foot of eye, peach wave, a hundred, one foot of eye. Put a fifty, one fifty, one foot of eye, but a one foot of eye, but two hundred, a quarter, two foot of eye. Put a two hundred, two foot of eye. Get two hundred, two foot of eye. But two and a quarter, two foot of eye. Get a two foot of eye. Get a two hundred, two foot of eye, but a two foot of eye, not foot of eye. Pull out two hundred dollars. One oh three. Two hundred dollars for one oh three. Nope. Pull the iron right here. Put a two hundred fifty, 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 by the F20 right here. Get 300, 250, 300. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, Let's go this way, I guess. 1100 in the night. 1100 in the night. 1100 in the night. 200, 250. 200, 250. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, but a hundred, one for the buy. But a hundred, one for the buy. But a fifty, one fifty, one to provide. But a one to provide. But a one fifty, one to provide. But a one fifty, one to provide. Give us a buy, must provide. But a one fifty, one to provide. Day one to provide. But a one fifty, one to provide. So one hundred and fifty. One oh three, hundred and fifty. For one oh three. Uh, Chevy? Yeah. Yeah, Chevy, once again, take a read it through. Yeah. <laughs> Put all natural wood box on the back here. Take or leave the tree on the good Chevy right there. Two fifty. But two hundred, two fifty. But two hundred, two fifty. Hundred, one fifty. But a hundred, one fifty. Hundred quarter, one twenty five. But a one twenty five. One twenty five. But a one twenty five. One fifty. One fifty. One to provide. Get two hundred. Get a deep neck quarter. Two twenty five. But two hundred. Two twenty five. But two hundred. Two twenty five. But you get a twenty five. Not twenty five. But two hundred. Two twenty five. But you get a twenty five. Not twenty five. So like two hundred dollars to buyer. Twenty six. Buyer number twenty six. Sixty four Plymouth. 64 Plymouth. 64 Plymouth. Right there, 200, 200. Give it 200. Give it 200. 100 bucks. 100 dollars. 100. Yeah. 100. Quarter, 125. Put a 100, 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 125. Sell out 100 dollars. 101. 101. Yep. I remember what was one. What year Chevy we got here, guys? 49. 49? Yep. 49 Chevy Ford. 49 Chevy Ford. Right there. Two hundred, two hundred, hundred bucks, hundred dollars, quarter, one foot of eye, beat, one foot of eye, put a one foot of eye, put a hundred, one foot of eye, hundred bucks in my dollar, but a hundred, one foot of eye, one foot of eye, hundred, one foot of eye, one foot of eye, the hood, yeah. One foot of eye, need a school car, one foot of eye, put a hundred, one foot of eye, put a one foot of eye, put a hundred, one foot of eye, sold out a hundred dollars, one, oh, one, buyer number one, oh, one. Are we around the corner or are we all right? Back over here, two, eleven, one, two. All in, all done, thank you, we appreciate it. Stop and settle up with Carla. Another boot to add to my abandoned farmstead boot collection. Pretty decayed down, just like the rest of the place. Still got the heel with it, though. There you go. Under the old windmill, there is a hand dug stone lined well I got it kind of covered up here you can see the tool marks on the stones there try and move that branch out of the way and show down in the well there there it is
not too many of these old hand dug wells still around. Most of them been filled in and capped off. Just one more relic of an old place like this. Here's a Van Brunt drill grown in the tree. There's yeah. Wall hangers. Yay. Get what you get, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's the engine for the 49 Chevy. Probably, probably be scrap. I imagine that car will get replaced with the 235 or V8 or something by somebody else. 235 or 216. Yeah, that's the 216. Yeah, they'll probably put a 235 in it, I'd imagine. So I rescued the hood. It was grown up in the grass. It's in excellent shape. Really, the whole body of this car, pretty excellent all the way around. Do need to take this tree down and then set the hood on there. Then we'll come back with the two car trailer another day and this thing's ready to load. Here we've got the Ford Fairmont. It's kind of a succession of red mid-sized Ford vehicles. Yeah, this Fairmont and then the Tempo and then the Taurus and the Fusion. So this old Fairmont, 78 to 80, be about the, about the era. I have, I guess I won't say necessarily fond, but I have memories of one of these old Fairmonts. This one's red, ours was powder blue. We bought the old thing from a aged gentleman and it was in excellent, excellent cosmetic shape. Still almost looked new except for a few dings. And we drove it around, seemed to run and drive fine and had a little 2.3 four-cylinder that was the Pinto engine and I think Ford's engineers they had the idea they were gonna make an economy car but that little 2.3 just was not enough to move that Fairmont so that has me curious which engine might be in this one and got the hood cable broke of course Let's pop it Let's see I guess it's broke broke so it'll remain a mystery a lot of these had the straight six which was a venerable old engine back in the 60 Falcon would have been the very first car that came out in and they just kept putting them in everything the little Econoline pickups and vans and the Fairlanes the Mavericks the Granada had it and I think the Fairmont probably was the last one to ever have that straight six they were good engine nothing wrong with the 2.3 for what it was it just wasn't enough engine to move a Fairmont and of course you could get the 302 in a Fairmont granted it wasn't probably a tremendous performer I'm sure it would have had all the smog gear you could imagine in late 70s early 80s so that's the Fairmont story. Little hand-built tractor. 
home built, home brew. Got the international wheels on the back. Surprising there's not either snow tires or tire chains. Got a cut down, probably Plymouth or Ford rear axle. 40 Ford steering wheel. Could be 30s Chevrolet or some sort of GM transmission. Little, probably about an eight horse engine on there and the blade all all put together and she does still rock so she might be still viable yet house is in pretty bad shape roof is shot it was overrun with pack rats there's no running water but please don't be disrespectful in the comments. I debated whether or not to show the house, but I think I will. So here's the old, old house. Kind of a sad, sad place. And he did live in here until he died in November. They're saying he lived here with his parents. This was the house he grew up in. It's probably his grandparents' place. All the stuff out back was his grandparents. And they just kind of lived a hermit's life in here. Said his parents probably died 20, 30 years ago. And this was just all he knew. His old army vet from 52 to 56. I mean, it's just, just what he knew. Obviously, pretty pretty sad existence hoarder type of deal Here's one of them heaters. someone did buy the picking rights to the house I think they'll mostly take the ornamental woodwork The old bedroom in the back. They turned the bed up. Who knows? There's quite a large coin collection. You never know what's in one of these places. I did buy the contents of this shed. Looks like a lot of junk. But I did harvest two antique magnetos, Western Auto Wizard black tire paint can to go on the can wall, miniature anvil, miniature chopper, neat little perfume bottle, and two glass chicken waters.